off the court. Huh? Honestly, you're bored. Obviously, yeah, that's right. That's right. Basketball practice. Still football season, guys. I hope you know that. We've got Oregon State. Uh, so. Well, what about the football team? Are you glad to see that? Oh, well, I couldn't be more uh, excited and happy for those guys. Uh, my wife and I made it. We made it to the Michigan game. And, Everybody was disappointed in that outcome. But I think they gained a lot of confidence from that game. Obviously, showed against Oregon. Signature win for our program. And could be more excited for the coaches and the players. And, uh, you know, everybody that's uh, in Buff Nation. It's, it's really, really exciting. I can't wait for the game tomorrow. We're practicing at 80, so we can get done and be there for kickoff. Coach, when was the first time that you watched Eric White play? And how much long, how much longer did it take for you to realize that you wanted him to be a Well, you know, I never, you know, what's crazy is I never saw him play in person until he was on campus. So, you know, all of our due diligence came from watching film. Once we knew he was leaving uh, Colorado Springs to, to transfer, uh, obviously we, we got our release, we spoke to him, but we started watching film. And then, you know, I started calling a lot of coaches and that league. A lot of good coaches in that league, the guys I really respect and have, have friendships with. And they were all great. You know, anytime an opposing coach gives confidence to me, it's, it's a legitimate. So, and then once he was on campus, it was a good team. This is a six million person state. It's kind of hard to miss generally talents like that, yet yeah. his development, his growth late. Yeah, I think, you know, number one, it was physical development as much as it was his game. He was a good high school player. I mean, he was at our team camp. He was 6'1", 165 pounds. I mean, how many 6'1", 165 pounds are running around playing Colorado high school basketball? And, you know, I think you look at his recruiting coming out, even the league he went to, uh, the Army, uh, those, half of those coaches, most of those coaches. So he was not only missed the Division one round, he was missing the Division two. It's, uh, it's an it's interesting story. It's a great story. That's uh, what's great about recruiting. It's not exactly the exact same. Ted, what you talk to you guys? First day of practice. Well, you know, d number one, most of the times in the offseason, guys are working on their game. They're working on the ball. They're shooting. They're working on you know, their bodies. They're the weight room. we got to see the long way. So the first thing you just come back and forth. Uh, get, kind of get them back in that mode of wanting to guard and having fight guarding. But listen, the first day of practice, I, mean, I could have blown the whistle every possession. It was just, uh, we got a long ways to go, there's no doubt about it. They're still in the summertime workout kind of mode. Again, preseason, we get up for two hours a week, which we usually break down into 40 minute segments, three days a week. So we're going from 40 minute workouts to team workouts for two hours, it's a whole different animal. So, a lot to work on, I feel. But we start with defense. Just one practice, but does it feel like this could develop into your deepest team here? I think so, yeah. If we stay healthy, you know, I think we've got a very deep team. I mean, even our freshmen, they did some really nice things out here today. And, uh, so, yeah, I, 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 I expect this to be more than that. If we stay healthy. Body development looks like towards the uh, Got bigger and skinnier that <laughs> Yeah, no, Tori's, uh, look, Tori's gotten better every year he's been here. We expect this year to be no different. He does a lot of good things for us, plays with great energy. So really excited for his junior year. It's going, you know, both he and Dom are going from that underclassman role to the upperclassman role. Now, obviously, we got the four fifth year seniors, which is nice. Uh, but still, they're, they're expecting to do more this year. Last year, this time, we talked a lot about George Gates. Work ethic, work he put in during his redshirt season you know, last summer. Did he get a lot of that this year? The, the injury, right. uh, uh, does that put a different sort of emphasis on these next few weeks? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. You know, George has been healthy now since we missed him in June. We're doing our workouts in the spring, but he's had a good one. Once he got healthy, he's worked too. He looks great. No pain in the I think the biggest thing for George is, okay, we know you can shoot it, we know you can make plays. Now can you can make plays for your team. Okay, great, good players make themselves better. Great players make their teammates better. It's not a challenge to get George, okay? You're a good player, everybody knows to make that.
So when Folsom Field is, is, is jammed and rocking, we're tailgating and everybody's excited and there's uh, football in the air in the fall, there's, there's nothing but home games. Uh, go down to Pearl Street, uh, stand B, watch the football team, you know, uh, get pumped for the game the next day. Great atmosphere to recruit in. And hopefully we can reciprocate and our fans can reciprocate by packing up towards events every single day. Thank you. Thanks, Dad. Absolutely. 